What's up, YouTube? This is Hex from Not to Learning. Today, we're actually going to review the Gamester Gear Cruiser PC 200. Now, this is for the PC, obviously, according to its name, but also it works for PlayStation 4. So that's pretty much what turned me on to this gaming headset, and it's something different. You know, the price range is $69.99. So for that price, you know, it's not super expensive at all, but it's not too too cheap at the same time. So I know you guys want to know, is this worth getting, especially if you have the PlayStation 4, because there's not too many mics that work great with it yet. So is this worth getting? So uh, before I unbox it, I want to uh, exactly tell you what's inside of it. So it comes with a comfortable headband, so that's standard. A lot of these headbands, you know, it has to be nice and comfortable inside of it. Um, it's 57 millimeter drivers, so that's, that's pretty good for something that's a price range $69.99. So it does give you a really good sound quality, stuff like that. Uh, detachable mic. Now that's something that not every headset around that price range does. You know, you can actually screw it in and screw it out, which is really, really good. Um, you know, the problem with some of these headsets that are cheaper are the fact that you can only use it as a gaming headset or you can only use it as a, a headset that you listen to music to. And it doesn't really give you the option to unscrew it and do what you want to do with it. So it's really nice to see something that actually does that. Now, it also has a microphone loopback. Now, this is very important because sometimes you want to hear the playback. You want to hear what you're saying inside the microphone. And according to this, it allows you to hear what you're saying even when the game audio is loud. So something like this sounds like it could be a really, really uh, good feature that not most headsets do, not even most expensive headsets do. So I'm really looking forward to see what that, you know, entails in this headset. Now, just to let you know, the frequency response 20 hertz to uh, 20 kilohertz, and the cable length is 4.9 feet, um, uh, and pretty much that's it. Oh, the connector type is very important as well. It's only 3.5 millimeter audio mic plug, so it's not USB, so this is definitely something that you plug in through the 3.5 millimeter. Now, obviously, I'm going to give you a review for this. Um, probably going to take like a week to tr test it out as much as I can. You'll be listening to me um, play different games and stuff like that. Mostly PlayStation 4, also PC games. Everything that you hear that when I'm talking through will most likely be out of this. So we're going to definitely get a chance to see the, the mic audio, how it works. I'm going to let you guys know exactly how it sounds because sound is definitely just as important as the way you sound through the microphone. So without further ado, let me unbox this real quick. So I had to pre-open it before, just so it wouldn't take me forever. Okay, so... Alright, as we see, it's extender right here, 3.5 millimeter. Yeah, so it's extender. This is also the mic, detachable mic that's right in here as well. So I'm going to take that out real quick. This is a detachable mic, which is pretty cool. You just push it in and push it out. Or pull out, <laughs> that's what she said. Um, let's look around. So, which is pretty cool, you know. This is something that you need right here. That it's nice that they have this attachment for a mic that's not super expensive. So, uh, instruction manual, which I'm not going to use at the moment. I'll definitely have to use that when uh, using it with the PlayStation 4 to make sure I'm doing it the right way. Okay. Sorry, that was a little noisy over here. Okay, pass that over here. Alright, and uh, this is the headset. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it's uh, you know, it's not, it doesn't feel like the most comfortable headset out there. So I'll tell you that right away. It does have a little pad up here, but for the most part, it is like a hard plastic right here. So, you know, that, that right away isn't the best thing. Uh, what I do like is the cord itself is the ones that will not get tangled. So you don't have to worry about after a while those uh, regular wire cords get tangled and screwed up. So this is very good to see this. Um, also has a little Velcro attachment to clean up the wires when you're done, which is really nice. Like I said before, it's 3.5 millimeter. So that's awesome. Now... You hear that little clicking noise. That does not sound great. You know, you can actually tell the price quality with that right there. But, 
with that said, it does feel kind of comfortable actually, which is kind of weird. But you know, with microphones like this especially, or headsets like this, you have to test it out, you know, hours worth because, you know, it may feel comfortable, but then after a couple hours, your ears start to hurt and stuff like that. But it, you know, this does kind of feel different. You know, I have a Turtle Beach headsets, so from that, it definitely feels a lot different. But, uh... It's sort of like if you look at this part, the part with the ear, it actually rotates around. It sort of moves with your, with your head. So that's very, very interesting the way they did that. But let me attach this mic over here. So it goes in right here. And that's it. So attach a mic if you want to. Like this. Which is pretty cool. Obviously, it says left ear, right ear. So uh, that's pretty much it for this unboxing. Now, the Cruiser PC200, like I said before, is $69.99. So I'm going to test this out for a full week and, uh, you know, play different games with it, try PC games, try PlayStation 4 games, and I'm going to let you know exactly what I think about it. Now, right away, there are some good things about it. Like I said, the, the great thing about it is that you have the playback or loop back, so you can actually hear your voice on top of the game audio, so you know if you're talking too loud or you're not talking loud enough. So that's really good right off the bat. Um, some things I do not like, the clicking noise and the, the plastic feel, but you know, something like that, you can get away with it if it actually feels comfortable after hours of gameplay. So that's something I have to test. So besides that, I think that's pretty much it for the PC200. So uh, definitely stay tuned for my uh, product review. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing the Cruiser PC200. This X for not to nerdy. I'm out. See you, YouTube.